dish your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, Billboard chart dropped for this week, and the game came in at like number seven, I believe, at 33,000 units sold. And that's not damn bad, especially for an independent, because you do the math, that's $330,000. Probably most of that went to all of his features, but still, independent is the way to go, man, because no matter how little you sell, it's still a lot for you when you don't have to kick any of it back to the record labels. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that Meek Mill featuring Lil Boosie, Fuck You Mean. And this song was dropped because it seems as though they finally let Meek Mill go, and that's what's up. Now, you listen to the song, man, and it is pretty much what you expect from Meek Mill, man. A high-energy type track. But quite honestly, I could have really went without the Little Boosie feature. Not saying that he completely ruined the song, but he didn't really make it any better. And real shit, it's never a good thing when somebody say, okay, it is what you expect from this artist. Because that leads you to being like, okay, I'm bored of this guy because he continues to drop the same type of fucking music. It's more important to evolve as an artist to the point that no one knows what to fucking expect when you drop something. Like Andre 3000, if he were to drop a new album, nobody would fucking know what to expect at all from this guy. And that adds to the intrigue on why people would go out and get that shit. But overall, the song is decent, man. I'm expecting better to come now that the album seems to be back on track. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about business, not personal. Another quote from The Godfather that I definitely wanted to touch on for your music career, you dig? Because here's some real shit. When you're dealing with the record labels, it's all business. None of it is fucking personal. They can do the most fucked up shit to you like Michael Corleone did, where it was just business for him to go in and murder some fucking people. These people will fucking murder your career and be like, oh, it's all just business, you dig? We'll try to do better next time. Wow, that shit is really personal to you, ain't it? Like, these motherfuckers slaughter your fucking career. What else you got? The career that you spent probably most of your life trying to build, these guys tear down in one hour. That's really why you don't give these guys power over you, dude, because they will ruin you for the fucking money. You need to find like some management or somebody that is all personal for them that you succeed to. And never be loyal to anybody who's all business towards you, man, because you can be all business to them, too. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.